Hi, this is Dr. John Shem, and today I want to do a little explanation of the difference between a disc herniation and a disc bulge. These are terms that are often used interchangeably by a lot of people, but the truth is there is a significant difference. If I had to describe a disc herniation, the model I would use is that of a jelly donut. We've all eaten jelly donuts, we've all pressed on the center, we all watched the jelly come out the side. Well, that analogy of the jelly donut is a perfect analogy of a disc herniation. If you press on the disc, sometimes the disc herniation center, the nucleus, will come out the side walls and cause herniation or expression of the jelly outside the outer wall of the disc, or as we would call it, the annulus. In contrast to the jelly donut disc herniation model, we also have the disc bulge tire deflation model. We've all seen tires. We all know what happens when the air leaks out of the tire. Over time, the sidewalls start to bulge out. Well, that's a very similar model to what happens when you have a disc bulge. Discs over time lose their water content. When the water content goes away, the sidewalls also start to bulge out. So if you can imagine putting a car tire in your spine and letting the air slowly leak out, that is just like a disc bulge. The sidewalls, the annulus will then start bulging out and could potentially cause some nerve irritation when the disc material bulges out and hits the nerve. I hope this kind of solidifies in your mind the difference between a disc herniation and a disc bulge because a jelly donut definitely does not taste as well as a car tire. Take care.